this is HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3! Today, we've got some more things to do with the Magic Key. So, we're back at Romilly here, and I'm just using a fairy water so I don't have to edit out five battles on the way here. Remember when we came over here, the guy was saying something about having the Magic Key to get to Portoga? Well, now we can! So, let's get on through here. Thanks for letting me by. Hmm, there's a little, uh, jail door there. Hmm, I wonder. We'll be back there later with another key, so... But yeah, I have been dreading this part, viewers, because... I have bad memories of Portoga, let's say. The enemies get harder here, too. But yeah, when I played this game originally, back in 1992, or whenever it came out, my game file became corrupted. So whenever I tried to load it on the original NES cartridge there, I, um... What, it made that little curse sound effect, and it said your file had been corrupted or something like that. So I had to send it in to Nintendo or whoever to get it fixed. And when I got it back, it seemed to work, but then I went, got to Reeve, and it just became corrupted again. So I couldn't play the game, and I just got tired of it. So it took me seven years to get around to actually doing something about it, uh, buy another copy of it, and finally beat it. But, yeah, that's why it took me so long. Just bad... I don't know what happened to it! I mean, did someone set a magnet next to my cartridge? I don't know! But, well, it became corrupted. So, yeah, it took me a while to beat this one because of that. So, eh, they sell some new stuff here, but, uh, hmm, talking about, a some pepper around here, huh? What is this, Dune? And they were, that guy there was talking about some lost couple, but, uh, I don't think we ever find them. I mean, we do, but, I mean, they just show up. You know, it's not like you go out on a little quest or something to find them. Or, no, no, that, I don't think that's them. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Hmm. Okay, sure, I'll talk to the king. Why not? But yeah, you see the magic key can work on these thief's key doors, too. So, that's pretty nice. Okay, how's it going? Ah. Huh? Oh, so there's the girl. Okay, well, I guess I was mistaken. Maybe you have to come back here at night? Uh, I don't know, and I don't really care right now. I'll show more with them later. Not today, though. Today, we've got a lot of towns to explore, so let's go check out the castle. Portuga! Now, let's see what's in those chests there. Ooh, and I can get them, too. Too bad I don't have a wizard, though. Oh, really? Huh. Well, I'll keep that in mind. But yeah, um, was it? If I had a wizard, I could use step guard to get over that barrier, but I can't. So, oh, wow. Well. Oh, really? Huh. Well, I better watch out for that. Yeah, the enemies to the east are hard. Oh, no. Use the key. There you go. Don't use your sword on the door. Use the key. But yeah, you see that? That took off 15 damage per step. So, yeah, we're going to have to deal with that. That's... I wonder if I could use return to get out of here. Maybe I should have talked to the king first. Oh, well. But anyway, let's just grab all these. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. Okay, well, let's talk to the king about getting a ship. You have to do this in order to uh, progress with the plot. So, let's go. No. No, no, yeah, yeah, you can tell me the truth. I was just jacking with you. Uh, okay. I don't know what the point of that was, viewers. Oh, no. Well, maybe I should go try finding them. Black pepper, huh, to the east. Um, okay, sure, why not? How do I get over there? Oh, okay. Sure, so we gotta find some guy named Nora, huh? Well, I'll just tell you where it is. Uh, let's see, now you have to get the royal scroll in order to get Nora to help you, otherwise you can't go through. So, we want to head back to Asaram there. Now, there is a, a room in there with, that you can use the magic key on, but I think it has to be nighttime. And even if it is during the day, whatever it is, um, nothing particularly interesting there, so I'm not going to bother with that magic key door. I'll try to show most of the doors that you can unlock, but 
mostly I'm not worried about it. And, uh, I don't think there's any enemies around here, if I'm not mistaken, but... Well, there you go. But yeah, this is... I forget how you're supposed to know to go here to find Norad, but... Well, there you go. Or Norad, Norad, whatever. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I suppose I could have grabbed this treasure here earlier. Eh, it's not really much. Oh, we get a club. Hey, I'm just gonna steal all your weapons, so you're totally defenseless here. There you go. Hmm, maybe this guy's a fighter. He has that... Oh. Oh, okay, well, no, no, in order to, uh, get him to help you out, let's use the royal scroll there. Do what these guys tell you to do, or else. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna get into a butt thou must situation. I'm not gonna jack with this guy. So, okay, there we go, let's follow him. And they got moving NPCs! Or, you know, like, well, back in the day, this is what cutscenes were, viewers. I mean, you have animated NPCs and everything actually doing stuff other than just walking around in a ra random pathing algorithm. It's a secret passage! Alright! But yeah, now we can go to the east. We couldn't do that before. So, yeah, that's pretty much all we got for cutscenes in this game, I'm afraid, viewers. What do you mean you're not impressed? This was the NES days. That, I mean, this was high-tech stuff back then, viewers. Okay, well, we made it to the other side, so let's go look for a town or something around here. Now, there is a shrine to the north, but there's just an inn there. No useful NPCs or anything like that. But we do have some new enemies here, Avenger Jackals. These guys can cast surround on you, and they can, um, what is it? They can summon help for or other Avenger Jackals. So what I want to do is put them to sleep, and then take them out while I whittle their numbers down. Well, at least we got two of them, so there we go. You could also use Infernos on them to soften them up so that the other characters can finish them off, but uh, I like using sleep better because they can summon help if you don't kill them quickly enough, so. But there we go, all right. Well, let's heal up after that one. Yeah, I wish there was a heal all option, like, in... Well, I'm playing Dragon Quest VI right now, but, uh... Yeah, we don't have that in this game, I'm afraid. So, oh well. And here we got another new enemy, Heat Clouds. Uh, actually, I like using the same strategy as against the Avenger Jackals. Use, uh, put them to sleep! And, uh, if you want to... Okay, well, I didn't get very lucky there. But, uh, yeah, uh, you can use Infernos to soften them up a little bit, but, uh, I like putting them to sleep because they can use Flaming Breath on you, which it doesn't look like a lot of damage, but if you got five of them doing it all at once, that could be a problem. Now, putting them to sleep isn't going to do me a whole lot of good because we almost got them anyway, so I might as well use Infernos to, you know, damage them a little bit. Uh, as you can imagine, fire is not very effective on them, so if you got a wizard, use Ice Bolt. Uh, for Avenger Jackals, you could use whatever you want, pretty much. They don't have any resistance to any damaging spells or, or anything like that, so we're in pretty good shape there. Wow, these guys are draining my MP for all the healing I'm doing. Gotta be careful. Stay out of the hills, too. And there's another new enemy, Hunter Flies. They can cast Fireball on your group, so what I want to do... Uh, you could uh, use Stop Spell on them, but I'm just going to kill them outright anyway. And with the Heat Clouds, since there's only two of them, I'm just going to use Infernos, just to make sure that Ragnar and Solo can finish them off. Nuts! Ow! That hurts, man. Good thing I got that Heal More spell. It can heal you up to 80 HP, so that's pretty nice. I almost said MP there, but this isn't the Seventh Saga. That was the game, right, where you had a spell that could restore your HP and MP? That was kind of ridiculous, but there you go. Oh, well, there we go. Wasn't doing much good anyway. Not here, anyway. Where is this place? I know there's a town around... Oh, there it is. Come on, make it. Yes. Whew. Man, that was a pretty rough ride there for just getting to the next town. Baharata. Uh, I don't know what this town is supposed to represent, but well, there you go. Why do they have two people telling me that? Well, hey, I mean, all the more hot ladies that look like my mom, why not? Oh. 
Okay, well, uh... Okay, well, let's head on down there, then. Uh, yeah, let's head on... Where's the shopkeeper? Oh, no! What is this, Lufia? Well, let's take a look around, see if we can get some clues about the kidnapping, then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was a staff of force weapon that I could have bought for, like, if you had a wizard or something, but it's about as good as Ice Bolt, pretty much. So, I really don't like it. Even if I had a wizard, I'd rather just use a uh, poison needle and get a random, you know, one-hit kill. Yeah, you might get lucky. Let's see what they got here. Eh, nothing interesting. There are going to be some things I will buy with my money. I am saving my money for really good stuff. So what's going on? Oh, no. Tanya, huh? Oh, well, I guess he's going to go then. Isn't he the... Or, okay, I guess he could go save her. Yeah, walk around like a drunk. That's great, Galen. You're gonna do a wonderful job. Uh, can I talk to you again? Huh. For some- Ah, oh, there we go. For some reason, my menu wasn't opening for a second there. It's like my Super Nintendo controller's dying on me after 20 years. Ah, well, there we go. Well, let's see. Maybe- Does anyone know where these guys went? To kidnap them or something? Or... How's it going? Yeah, yes! I want to rest up at the end here. Absolutely, absolutely rest up here. Okay, there we go. I'm going to be doing quite a bit of traveling, actually. I'm not going to go straight for the rescue, because, well, there's some other areas I'd want to go to first. Shrine of Dharma, huh? Well, I think it's supposed to be Dharma, but they changed the spelling for whatever reason. I don't know, religious reference? I don't know. Okay, how's it going? Oh, no. Well, yeah, we've been hearing about that all game. I haven't seen them, have you? Heck, they seem about as uh, active as the Sinistrals. Oh, okay. Well, let's go on and check out that cave. But can I save Tanya from the kidnappers? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.